بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اٹس سکس او کلاک ناؤ سو وی ول اسٹارٹ آور کلاس جزاک اللہ ٹو ایوری ون فار ارائیونگ آن ٹائم اینڈ ویٹنگ پیشنٹلی سو ٹوڈے از اے ریویژن لیسن اوکے اینڈ وی ول بی ریوائزنگ ادغام ناقص اوکے اینڈ دین ان شاء اللہ وی ول پریکٹس یوزنگ دا ہولی قرآن اینڈ وی ول بی پریکٹسنگ یوزنگ سورہ الحمزا Humaza today. Okay, so let's start with the opening prayer. Um, okay, so our first student uh, is G1011. G1011, Assalamu Alaikum. G1011. Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum, Assalamu Alaikum. Okay. So let's recite this prayer starting with Tawfuz. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan al-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman al-Rahim. Okay. Allahumma. Allahumma. Inni. Inni. As'aluka. ابن ماجا ان ماجا ابھی ablution before the class and if you haven't done so already you can you still have time to do it right now and please make sure that you are wearing clean clothes and that your head is covered with a scarf or a cap i also hope that a parent is present with their child and that you are sitting in a quiet place okay this is very important if uh, especially if you want to have a turn on the mic okay so that everyone else can hear you clearly and repeat after you at home Okay. So let's start with our lesson. Okay, so we will be revising Idram uh, Naqis. Okay, and we learned in one of the previous lessons that Idram is assimilation. Okay, so here, here is the lesson. We covered this lesson in one of the previous lessons. Idram is assimilation, okay? Uh, assimilation just means to merge or join, okay? And then we have two types of idram. Idram-e-kamil, which just means complete assimilation, okay? And idram-e-nakis, partial assimilation. So today we will be revising the second type, which is partial assimilation. Okay, so here we are. So here is the rule for partial assimilation. If ya, vow, mean, or noon mushaddad appears after noon sakin or tanmeen, okay, then we have to apply partial assimilation. Okay, and we have to make a two second nasal sound. Okay, so we hold the nasal sound for two seconds. Okay. So if you look at this example, the very first example, we have noon sakin. Okay, it's highlighted in blue and it is followed by ya mushaddad. It is highlighted in red. So we just learned earlier that when noon sakin or tanmeen is followed by ya mushaddad, which is one of the four letters. Okay, then we have to do partial assimilation and we have to make a two second nasal sound. So Let's practice a few words. Uh, can we have a student? 
yes our next student is g1080 g1080 assalam alaikum assalam alaikum okay assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah so let's practice a few words okay starting with tawuz a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim okay so can you say this word min min ya min okay so you can repeat after me okay and listen carefully how i say this word okay min ya min min ya min okay so just make sure that we are not making the sound of noon okay we are just making a nasal sound okay so if we look here underneath to make it easier it is written okay like this okay let's try the next example wali yaw wala wali yaw wala okay much better akum ma'ahum akum ma'ahum okay very good just remember the sound of ain we have to differentiate it from the sound of alif okay akum a'um a a kum kum ma'ahum ma'ahum okay that was much better one more word ay yushraka ay yushraka okay jazakallah ji 1080 so la fis la fis let's have another student Uh, yes our next student is g1096 g1096 assalam alaikum assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah how are you today good how are you alhamdulillah i'm fine too jazakallah for asking so um we are going to do the second row now let's start with a'udhu billah a'udhu billah री गुड सो ल जॉइनिंग द लेटर ता इन टू द letter wow mushaddad we only took one of the strokes of the tanween okay that is how we uh, perform partial assimilation okay so instead of instead of the sound of noon which comes from a tanween we only make the nasal sound for 2 seconds okay next one to okay that was very good just remember the letter to okay it appears twice in this word it's a thick letter okay and for that you should round your lips okay and raise your tongue towards the roof of the mouth okay let's try it once more to iri ya tiru to iri ya tiru 
Okay, that was very good effort. Okay, moving on to the next word. This is a big one. Okay, would you like to have a go by yourself? G one zero nine six. Yes. Wala amatum mu minaton. Okay, that was very good. So again, on top of ta, we have tanmin. Okay, dhammatan. Dhamma. Dhammatan. Okay, tanmin of dhamma. And when we join the letter ta into the mim mushadad, we only take one of the strokes of tanmin. Okay, let's try it once more. Wala amatum mu minaton. Wala am. Okay, very good. Okay, last one. Okay, very good. Again, G1096, just remember this cough is the thick cough. Okay, the, one of the thick letters. Okay. So let's try it once more. Okay, that was very good effort. Jazakila G1096. Jazakila. Okay, so now we are going to uh, practice some more using Surah Al Humaza. Okay. But before we do that, I would just like to um, remind all the students about some rules. Okay, so in the very first verse, we have two examples of Idrami Kamil. Okay, so today we revised Idrami Nakis. Okay, but we have covered the rule for Idrami Kamil in the previous lessons as well. Okay, so uh, to put it simply, Idrami Kamil is when we don't make any nasal sound. Okay. So let's refer back to the lesson. Okay, here we are. Okay, whenever we have lam or ra mushaddad after noon sakin or tanween, no nasal sound will be assimilated into the next letter. Okay, so we are not making any nasal sound. So let's have a look at this example. Here we have noon sakin followed by lam mushaddad. Okay, so we are not going to do nasal sound this time. It is going to be milladonka. Okay, listen carefully how I join the mean straight into lam mushaddad. Okay, and the noon is completely dropped out of the pronunciation. Okay, so you can imagine that the noon is not there. And to make it easier, it's written here. Okay. So now let's go back uh, to our surah. So here you can see on top of lam, we have the mean of noon followed by lam mushaddad. So we are going to do the same. Okay. And we are not going to make any nasal sound. Then here again, we have another the mean. Okay. Followed by lam mushaddad. So again, we are not going to do any nasal sound. Okay. Then in the next verse, we have another example, but this time it's not idhami kamil. Okay, it's not complete assimilation. This time it is an example of partial assimilation. Okay, because the tanmeen is followed by vow mushaddad this time. Okay, and we learned earlier that uh, vow is one of the four letters which require us to do partial assimilation. Okay, and then in the last example, we have me mushaddad. Followed, um, we have tanween followed by me mushaddad. So again, here we have to do partial assimilation and we have to make a two second nasal sound. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is recite this um, surah, okay, but I will do so very slowly. Okay, and I would like to request all the students to repeat after me at home. And then once I'm done, we are going to pick students one by one and go through uh, a couple of surahs, uh, a couple of verses at a time. Okay. All right then.
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويل لكل همزة لمزح الذي جمع ما وعدده يحسب أن ما له أخلده كلا لا ينبذن في الحطمة وما أدراك ما الحطمة نار الله الموقده التي تطلع على الأفئدة إنها عليهم مؤصدة في عمد ممددة All right, Jazakumullah. I hope that everyone was repeating after me. So now let's have a student. Uh, okay, our next student is G1013. And if uh, you could please give mic to your uh, sibling afterwards, G1014. Okay, G1013, Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam wa Rahmatullah. So let's start with the verse. A'udhu billah imash shaito nirajim bismillahirrahmanirrahim Okay. So would you like to have a go by yourself or would you just like to repeat after me? Three. Repeat after you. Okay. Okay. So let's have a look carefully. We have lam. Okay. And on top of lam, we have the neem. Now we have to join this. Lam into the Lam Mushaddad. Okay, so this is going to be Wailulli. Wailulli. <laughs> okay, G1013, please concentrate. Okay, we are reciting Holy Quran. Okay. Wailulli. Wailulli. Okay, so we are 
again we are performing complete assimilation here okay so we are not going to make the noon sound and we are not going to do any nasal sound either okay we will take one of the strokes of this tanween okay what would that be imagine there is only kasra underneath the ta it's going to be t excellent very good and we are just going to join this t into the la mushaddad so it is going to be humazatillu humazatillu very good humazatillu mazah humazatillahu okay humazatillu mazah hum very good okay so here we at the end of the verse we have tai marbuta okay and we covered in one of the previous lessons that the correct way to pause on a word that ends with tai marbuta is is that the sign the stroke changes into sukoon okay and the ta changes into ha okay in other words it will become ha sakin so let's have a look okay here we are in this word okay the word ends with tai marbuta okay and if because we want to pause on this word okay the ta will change into ha sakin okay as we can see here so that is the correct way to pause okay and that's what we did okay all right so uh, g1013 can we have your uh, sibling on the mic now G one zero one four. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Would you like to repeat after me as well? Yeah. Okay. Let's start with Auzu Billah. Auzu Billah, Nishita, Nurin, Billah, Ramanu. Okay. Allazi. Allazi Jama Ama Jama Ama Ma Longwa Ma Longwa Adada Adada Okay Adada very good just make sure the sound of ha is very clear adda da adda da okay so let's have a look so here we prolong this part okay for 2 seconds because of the ya madda okay and in the previous verse we also had a place where we prolonged for 2 seconds here okay we have ya on top of it is sukoon okay so we look at the previous letter and it's carrying a fatha stroke okay so we know that this is ya lean okay ya of soft elongation so we prolong this softly for 2 seconds okay and here we have an example of ya madda okay ya of elongation so we just prolong this for 2 seconds okay, okay. and there is one more place in this verse where we prolonged for 2 seconds uh, g1014 do you happen to know where yeah where is it ma very good excellent okay so we prolonged this because again we have an example of alif madda okay and we know that because previous letter is carrying fatha sign okay and as i mentioned earlier we have uh, tanween 
Okay, fathatan followed by vowel, mushaddad. So here we do partial assimilation and we do a two second nasal sound. Okay. Ma long wa. Ma long wa. Okay, very good. G1014, would you like to recite, um, recite this verse by yourself now? The same verse. Okay, that was very good. Okay, just remember we need to prolong the ma for two seconds. Okay, whereas this sign here, okay, all these three letters in this word carry the short stretch of fatha. So we'll prolong each of these for one second. Okay, all right. Jazakallah, G1014. So here I would like to remind all the students here we have ha. Okay, and it is carrying inverted Dhamma. And the correct way to pause here would be to change the inverted Dhamma into Sukoon. Okay, so if we have a look here. Okay, here in this example, you can see the word ends with Ha. And it is car carrying inverted Dhamma. Okay, but when we want to pause on this word, the Dhamma will change into Sukoon. Okay. All right, let's have um, another student. Um, our next student is G1087. G1087. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Okay, so we are going to practice the next few verses. Let's start with Auzu Billah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Okay, would you like a, uh, like to have a go by yourself? Yeah. Okay, go on. Yes, yes, Abu Anamalahu Akhladahu. Okay, very good. G1087, that was very good. Just one thing. Okay, I mentioned earlier uh, in verse 3, okay, and verse 4, we have ha, and it is carrying the inverted dhamma. Okay, but because we want to stop here, okay, it is the sunnah of Holy Prophet وسلم, to stop at the end of a verse. Okay, so because we want to stop here, what would happen to this ha? It would turn into a sukoon. Very good, excellent. So the stroke on top of the ha will change into sukoon. Okay, and when it is carrying sukoon, we will pron we will pronounce this word as akhladah. Akhladah. Very good, excellent. Okay, so just to remind the other students, uh, here we have an example of noon runna. Okay, the noon it is carrying the sign of tashtid. Okay, so when that happens, we have to do a two-second nasal sound. Okay, we have to hold the nasal sound for two seconds. An. An. Very good. Okay, and you prolong this part really well. Okay, we have alif madda here, so you prolong this for a good two seconds. Then on top of ha, we have maddu sagir. Okay, we have the medium long stretch. And the rule for that is that we should prolong it for a minimum of three seconds and a maximum of five seconds. So you did that really well as well. Okay. Okay, moving on to the next verse. Kalalat yun. 
yum badana fil hutano okay very good again you recited really well just make sure okay here we have tai marbuta do you know what will happen when we want to pause on this it turns into a ha sakin very good and you did that but just make sure that the sound of ha is very clear okay fil hutama fil hutama very good okay and here we have a thick letter okay we learned that there are seven thick letters and ta is one of them so remember uh, to make that thick sound as well okay we have to differentiate between the sound of ta and the sound of uh, a simple ta okay the letter ta is a thin one and ta is a thick one okay uh, again we have example of alif madda okay because the previous letter lam is carrying fatha so you prolong that really nicely and you also applied the mim maqlooba rule okay so the rule for that is when uh, on top of noon sakin okay if we have this uh, miniature uh, mim okay we are only going to pronounce this mim okay we are not going to pronounce the noon so la yum bazan la yum badan okay very good Uh, the letter zal okay it has a vibrating sound okay and the point of articulation is uh, our teeth so the tip of the tongue touches the upper front teeth okay and you'll feel the air escaping from both sides of the mouth okay let's try it again la yum bazan la yum bazan na Okay, very good. And then again, here we have an example of noon gunna. Okay, noon mushaddad. So we do we did uh, a two second nasal sound. All right. Uh, Jazakallah. G one zero eight seven. You recited really well. Jazakallah. Allah fees. Allah fees. Okay. Can we have uh, the next student? Uh, yes. Our next student is G one one two three. G one one two three. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Okay, so we are going to recite, uh, practice the next few verses. Let's start with Tawuz. Awwuzu billahi min al-shaytan al-rajim. Bismillahi al-Rahman al-Rahim. Okay. So we are here. Okay. Would you like to repeat after me? Repeat after you. Okay. Vama. Vama. Adraka. Adraka. Malhutama. Malhutama. Very good. Okay. Narulahi. Narulahi. Okay. Make sure to prolong this for two seconds. Okay, because we have the vertical fatha. Okay, long stretch of fatha. Narulahi al-muqada. Okay, very good. So let's just go over the verses. So first of all, here we have again a medium long stretch. Okay, matu sari. So we have to prolong this for a minimum of three seconds, which we did. Okay, and then we have vertical fatha. So we prolong this part for two seconds. Okay, and uh, in one of the previous lessons, we covered blank letters. Okay, that was a very interesting lesson, and we learned that when uh, blank letters appear, okay, uh, and when we are reciting in continuation, okay, for example, uh, without pausing, 
Okay, we drop the blank letters and we don't pronounce them. So G one one two three. Uh, can you tell me in this verse? Do you know where the blank letters are? And if you can highlight, if you can tell me the blank letters. The Aleph and we have the Aleph. Very good, excellent. So we have two blank letters here, okay, and we don't consider them when we are reciting in continuation, and that's what we did. We joined the meme straight to the lam sakin. Okay, malhutama. Malhutama. Very good. And again, this um, timer buta. What will happen to this when we pause here? It turns into a ha. Sakin. Very good. Okay. Then in the next verse, again we have an example of alif matta. Okay, because the previous letter is carrying fatha, so we prolong this for two seconds. Okay, and as I mentioned earlier, on top of lam, we have vertical fatha, so we prolong this for two seconds as well. And we also have blank letters in this verse. Can you, G one one two three? Do you know where they are? Alif and another alif. Excellent. So we have an alif, a blank alif here, and we uh, drop this. Okay, we we just have to imagine that it's not there. Okay, and we said uh, we recited this as Narulahi. Narulahi. Very good. So we joined the raw. Okay, straight to the lam mushaddad. Okay, and we dropped this alif. Okay, but we also um and you said another alif, right? That's here, so we drop this as well, and we join this word straight to this lam sakin. Narullah al muqaddah. Narullah al muqaddah. Excellent. So again, this change into ha sakin. Okay, and here we have wow. Madha, okay, vowel prolongation. So we prolong this for two seconds as well, because the previous letter is carrying dhamma. Okay, and that's how we know this is vowel madha, vowel prolongation. All right, Jazakallah. G one one two three. You recited really well. Uh, can we have another student? Yes, our next student is G one zero one two. G one zero one two. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Okay, so we are going to practice the next three verses. Let's start with Tavus. Ta'uzu billahi minash shaitan rajeem. Okay, would you like to have a go by yourself or would you like to repeat after me? Repeat after you. Okay. Allati Allati Tatali'u Tatali'u Alal af Excellent. So again, uh, G1012, can you tell me why we recited this last word as Afidah and not Afidati? Yes, because it have that number. Okay, so because we decided to pause, okay, the correct way to pause on timer buta is that the ta changes into ha. Okay, and the stroke, whatever it is, changes into sukoon. Okay, that's what we um, that's what we revised earlier as well, right? Here. 
we have Daimar Buddha at the end of this word. And this will change into Ha Sakin. Okay. Okay, okay, let's go back. Okay, so in this verse, we had an example of Yamada. Do you happen to know where it is? G1012? Um, yes. Okay, can um, you... um, okay, can is you... it down to is it down to the um kasra? Okay, yes. So here we have the ya, okay, yamatta, and we know that this is yamatta because previous letter is carrying the sign of kasra. Okay, so that is why we prolong this for two seconds. Okay, then we have a thick letter, the letter to. Okay, so we have to make a thick sound here, and this is complicated because this letter ta and to they are similar sounding letters and they are side by side. Okay, so it is really hard uh, to first make sure that we don't conf uh, confuse between the letters and between the sounds. First, we have to make the thin sound and then the thick sound. Okay? That okay. Okay, that was uh, fine. Inshallah, with practice, it will get even better. Okay, and then we have a blank letter. Okay, and because we are reading in continuation without stopping, okay, we are going to drop this um, blank letter and we are going to join the lam with the fatha straight with the lam uh, sakin. Okay, and we are going to drop this blank ya as well. Alal af idah. Alal af idah. Excellent. Okay, next verse. In In him. him. Okay, now let's try the whole verse. In Excellent. So at the right at the beginning of the verse, we have again uh, another noon runna. Okay, noon mushadid. So we did a two second nasal sound there. Then we have an alif madda, okay, because the previous letter is carrying fatha. So we prolong this for two seconds. Okay, and then we have an example of ya lean again. Okay, just like the first verse. Okay, we know that this is ya of soft elongation, ya lean, because the previous letter is carrying fatha. Just like that here, the previous letter is also carrying a fatha. So we prolong this softly for two seconds. Okay, then we have a meme mushadad. Okay, meme gunna. So we also have to do a two second nasal sound here. Okay, then in one of the earlier lessons, we learned about Hamza Sakin. Okay, and we learned that uh, when Hamza is carrying this sign of Sukun, uh, we pronounce it with the soft jerk. Okay, and that's what we did. Mo sada. Mo sada. Very good. And let's refer back. So here's the lesson. Okay. So here it tells us that when Alif or Hamza Sakin appear, okay, in a word, it should be pronounced with a soft jerk. Okay. From the bottom of the throat. And we have to make sure that we don't confuse the sound with the sound of Ain. Okay. Ain comes from the middle of the throat. So... Uh, let's have a look. Here we can see, okay, we have Hamza, okay, carrying the sign of Sukun, and it is also on top of the letter Vau, which is the same case here, okay, Hamza Sakin on top of Vau. 
and we also learned in another lesson okay that when we have hamza on top of bow we only pronounce the hamza okay only the stroke harakat of hamza will be pronounced ignoring waw altogether so we are not going to pronounce the waw okay and that's what we did then we have sad okay which is one of the seven thick letters so we have uh, we also made a thick sound for this sad okay because we have to differentiate between the sound of sad and the sound of seen okay we can see here in both verse okay so seen has a thin sound and sword has a thick sound okay last verse fi armadim mumaddadah si ba of armadim mumaddadah excellent very good so Uh, in this verse, G one zero one two, we have an example of a partial assimilation. Do you know where that is? Yes. Itrami um, nakis. Um, is it up to the ayin? Okay, no, it's not here. Okay, so we revised uh, earlier today that when we have noon sakin or noon tanmin. Okay, so here we have a tanmeen of noon, followed by meem mushaddad. Okay, we do partial assimilation, and what that means is that when we join the dal into the meem mushaddad, we make a two-second nasal sound. Amadim mudadah. Amadim mudadah. Very good. Okay, and here at the beginning, we also have another example of ya mada. Okay, ya of elongation, because the previous letter fa is carrying the sign of kasra. Okay, so that's why you prolong this for two seconds. Okay, and at the end again, we have tamar buta, and the correct way to pause on it is to change it into ha sakin. Okay, so that's what we did. All right, Zakala G one zero one two. You recited really well. Zakala, Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, let's have another student. Um, now I'm going to give mic to G one one two six. G one one two six. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Waalaikum salam wa rahmatullah. So we are going to restart um, from the first verse. Okay, let's start with Tawuz. Okay, uh, G1126, do you want to have a go by yourself? Um, yes. Okay, go on. Vailuli kuli humasa tin tilumasa. Okay, very good. Almost perfect. Just remember, when we pause, okay, on timer buta, it will change into ha ha sakin. Okay. So try again. Vailuli kuli hu masa tin lu tin tin lu tin lu masa. Excellent. Okay, and here, as I mentioned earlier. We have two examples of idhamik kamil. Okay, we have the uh, tanmeen of noon followed by lam mushaddad. So we are going to not make any nasal sound. Okay, we will take one stroke of the tanmeen. Okay, so let's imagine that on top of lam, we have one stroke of dhamma. 
So what would it be? If we had one stroke. So if we had one stroke on top of lam. Lully. Lu. Okay. So we will have lu. And when we join it, okay, when we merge it into lam mushaddad, it will be lully. Okay, excellent. Yes, that was right. Similarly, here we are going to take one stroke of the tanmeen. Okay, so imagine that un underneath the ta we have one stroke of kasra. What would it be? Zatin. Okay, so it would be thin when there is tanmeen, but let's suppose that there is only one stroke of kasra. How would we pronounce this then? Okay, it would be ti, right? Ta with the kasra would be ti, and we will join it into la mushaddad, so it will become humaza tillu maza. Okay? Maza lil maza tillu maza. Very good, excellent. Okay. Next verse. Would you like to repeat after me? Yes. Okay. Allazi. Allazi. Jama'a. Jama'a. Ma lawa. La Okay, let's try this once more. Ma lawa. Ma. Adada. Adada. Very good. Yah sabu anna. Yah sabu anna. Ma lahu. Ma lahu. Akhlada. Akhlada. Very good. Kalla Kalla La Yumbazan La Yumbazan Okay, let's try this once more. Remember when we have a miniature meme, this teeny tiny meme on top of known sakin, we are only going to pronounce the meme. Okay, we will not pronounce the noon. So this is going to be la yum. Okay. La yum bazan. La yum bazan. Fil hutama. Fil hutama. Very good. Jazakillah. G1126. Okay, let's have one more student. Okay, our next student is G1018. G1018, Assalamu Alaikum. <clears throat> Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Assalam wa Rahmatullah. Let's start with our. Azubilla. Okay. Wama G one zero one eight Wama Adraka Adraka Malhutama Malhutama Narullah 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 
Join these two words. Alayhim muqsada. Alayhim muqsada. Fi amadim mumadada. Fi amadim. Dim. 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 Amadimu 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 Madada Amadimu Madada Very good, excellent. Uh, Jazakila G1018 So that is it for uh, today's lesson. Uh, and the homework uh, for everyone is to practice Surah Al-Humaza. Okay, so the PDF should have been provided, okay, or it will be provided in the parents' um, group, okay? And you should practice verses as much as you can, okay? And you can always refer back to uh, the lesson, okay? You can find the recorded lessons on YouTube. So you should refer back to the lessons, okay? And... Uh, practice along with that and I would just like to um, request the parents uh, to help uh, their children uh, with the practice of this Surah Al-Humaza and don't just um, let them recite by themselves because that way they might uh, learn uh, things in a wrong um, way I hope that makes sense so yeah, you can use the use the materials that is provided to you, and please make use of it as much as possible. So let's. We are going to end the class with the ending prayer. Can we have a student? G one zero two two. G one zero two two. Assalamu alaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Okay, let's recite this prayer for everyone, starting with Tawbus. Okay. Allahumma rahmani. Allahumma rahamni bil Quran al Azim bil Quran al Azim. Okay, and the translation. Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the Quran, the Great. Jazakallah, G one zero two two. So with this, our, okay. So with this, we are going to end our today's lesson. Uh, see you all tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.